Hello and welcome to the RiscOS community. This video demonstrates how to prepare a RiscOS SD card for the Raspberry Pi using the official Raspberry Pi Imager application. On a computer running Microsoft Windows, macOS or Linux, open a web browser and navigate to www.raspberrypi.com. Once there, navigate to the software section. Scroll down that page until you find the download links for the Raspberry Pi Imager application suitable for your computer's operating system. In this example, we are using a Microsoft Windows machine, so we will choose to download that version. For the purposes of this demonstration, we have sped up this section of the video while the application downloads. Once downloaded, we run the application installer. The installation process is straightforward. Simply click Install and the Raspberry Pi Imager application will be installed on your machine. On completion of the installation, the default behavior is to launch the Imager application. The OS image to write is selected by clicking the Choose OS button. To choose Risk OS, navigate to section other general purpose OS subsection Risk OS Pi, where the available Risk OS images can be selected. Now insert the target SD card into your SD card reader, close any Explorer windows, and then click the Choose Storage button, selecting the detected SD card device. We are now ready to write the OS image to the SD card. To do so, click Write. We are asked to confirm that we've chosen the correct SD card. Click Yes to continue. If this is the first time writing a RISC-OS Pi SD card, the Imager application will download the RISC-OS Pi SD card image. To avoid unnecessary downloads on subsequent writes, it will use a locally cached copy unless a new version of the OS is released. The Imager application will write and verify the image onto the chosen SD card. For the purposes of this demonstration, we have sped up this section of the video while the application writes and verifies the SD card. After successful verification, the Imager application goes through some finalization routines, including unmounting and then remounting the SD card. As the disk format is not understood by Microsoft Windows, you should cancel the error messages shown when attempting the remount. Click Continue and remove the SD card from the computer. Now insert the SD card into your Raspberry Pi, connect to screen, network, keyboard and mouse, then power it up. RiscOS will now start the boot process. After a few seconds, you will be presented with the desktop. As this is the first time launching RiscOS on this machine, a welcome guide is opened in the web browser. This will not be shown on subsequent launches. As we can see here, the available capacity of the SD card is around 2GB, despite a larger capacity card having been used. A future video will cover how to claim the additional capacity. Clicking here opens the standard apps available in this machine. Future videos will cover the use of many of these. And clicking here opens a file window showing the root directory of the SD card. Lastly, we will safely shut down the machine by clicking the center menu button or wheel of the mouse over the switcher icon and choosing shutdown. You have now created an SD card to use RiscOS on your Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching.